This is it. All right. Uh, looks like based on the order of our screens, Pat's first. How'd that happen? Yeah, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> well, you did the most talking recently, and Mike was oh. first. <laughs> Is it okay if I go first? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah by the way, it shows us. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I manipulated the process there, so I don't want to, you know, be too corrupt. But I'll show you, um, oh. you know, I I, uh, I like to drink some rum during the Whatnot show, so I get in a real good mood. So, you know, I showed you guys. Oh, I meant to ask you before I get into this, uh, Pat, You because you watched that video live when I was streaming it, right? The last? Oh, yeah, 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 I did watch it. Your unboxing, yeah. Yeah, so I mentioned the, did you want that Marvel ant-man astonishing ant-man book did you want that because mike mentioned you were interested but i don't it, it isn't decided yeah. or not you do we'll talk it? about it we can talk about it after the show oh, okay 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 so here we go um i got this awesome art germ portfolio and as i mentioned y'all but uh to tell the listeners this is hardcover uh this is the front. Here's the back. Everything that's in it. And obviously, I love uh, art germ. You know, female art, probably the most. But it's cool. There's you know Spider Man and Carnage on this too. I was thinking about doing the thing that uh, I think Johnny's mentioned in past episodes too. Just framing these. These are so cool. And this also took me back. This is the this is the first portfolio I've bought in. I'm going to say 15 years, but it's probably 25. Um, I bought, a, you remember that Jim Lee portfolio I have, Mike, that it's all cardboard and inside yeah. it has the different Jim Lees? Yep. Uh, I want to get those framed too. And after looking at this and appreciating it so much, it makes me want to get more portfolios. You get much of these, Pat? I don't have any of these new Marvel ones. I, are, are they, so the, the individual plates are, they're loose inside or are they yeah, like exactly. pocket or something? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a pocket inside and then it's got them all in there loose. Yeah. For this? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, loose. Oh, I thought it was like a, a hardcover book type. Oh thing. no. They're loose like that Jim Lee one is. Yeah. That, that makes it even more awesome. Right. Yeah. I love it. So I got that in my latest DCBS order. And, and then, you know, when I was looking for this screenshot for the show, and I actually have it here with me, of course, but, you know, I'm always torn as to which is better, going like this or having this, you know, up on the screen. So I chose to go this way with these, of course. But uh, when I was looking for the screenshot, you know, there's so many art germs portfolios that I wasn't aware of, and I want them all. You know, and some of them aren't called art germ portfolios. They're like the DC Prevents portfolio but they're all our germ <laughs> you know it's like yeah. stuff like that so anyway this is great and then i also got uh this bad boy the ross and Ante. i've actually got this in the background here i don't know if you guys were noticing that during yeah, the show it. let me uh let me actually uh see if i can center myself and there it is in all its glory so awesome the packaging is awesome love great packaging but this is the rossinante from the expanse which i've said on occasion i think is the best sci-fi show ever show being the key word there you know 
uh, and uh, that's one view of it. And here's the other side. And I was I was mentioning too during my live unboxing that if you aren't a big Expanse fan, you really probably can't appreciate how awesome this is. As as someone who is, of course, I mean it really. It does. It looks underwhelming if you don't really know about it, you know. But knowing about it and loving it so much, it's great for me. What's the materials that made out of? Is it is it like a hard plastic? Is it metal? you know? Yeah, it's kind of. It seems like a combination. Okay. Because unless there's, I don't know, some interior weight, because it's definitely not light, as if it were all just hard plastic, you know. Uh, but it's definitely, I would say, a majority hard plastic. Uh, but there's definitely some metal parts. And it seems like there must be some, it's like not hollow or something, you know? But yeah. Who made that, Kevin? Do you know? Um, of course I don't. <laughs> yeah, set that thing down. You're making me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> If there's a glass of water beside it, you're making pass. <laughs> uh, this is Eagle Moss Hero Collector. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, funny, funny enough, I think they announced this week that Eagle Moss filed for Chapter Eleven. Oh, really? It's a good thing you got it now. <laughs> yeah. And it, you know, actually, when you look at this picture I shared, I'll say it again real quick. The <laughs> base here is different than the base here. And this this is the base that's on the one I have. So I don't know whether they offered it before and I, I'm getting the second time around or not or what, I don't know. But. Probably like a, just a prototype. Yeah, that could um, be too, yeah, yeah. Photo, that could have just been Photoshopped in or something like that, you know? Yeah. And then uh, to zoom in on me a little bit so I can, so you can see it better, this is my birthday stuff. I got a uh, Boba Fett, this is to hold your headset for video gaming. Wow. So either Which that I haven't actually used it yet. And it has a problem, in my opinion. This is not, it doesn't go down and up like it should. You know, it's just solid here. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to fit my headphones on here. So maybe it's lacking a little bit in engineering. I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, but it's cool. It's cool nonetheless. I, I definitely want to give it a good paint job, you know. Hey, speaking of your birthday, I have a gift here for you. I just didn't make it over. And luckily, I didn't come over yesterday because you were out watching Thor. I was going to come over yesterday morning. Yeah, you know, actually, my wife told me, your wife told her that. And I was like, I don't know anything about him coming yeah. over. Because she mentioned that. She's like, isn't Mike coming over? And I was like, what? I don't know. What are you talking about? So. Yeah. Why didn't make it? Yeah. <laughs> and then I got this sick game. My whole family got together and bought me this because these aren't cheap. Uh, but this is so fun. This is one that I definitely, if all of us were the biggest Star Wars nerds, I would want to play this as a group with all y'all because this is, this is a lot of fun. Uh, I love, you know, I've talked about it before with Star Wars. As much as I'm a Jedi, you know, typical characters, Rebels fan, I'm more bounty hunters, you know, scoundrels and the Outer Rim and all this stuff fan. And this game really fulfills all that. You get to be a, a bunch of characters, everyone from uh, Jyn Ursa to, of course, Han Solo, Boba Fett, and Dr. Afra's in here. And uh, you basically... All go on whatever you choose you want to do out of miscellaneous options like, you know, getting bounties or just shipping illegal cargo, you know, stuff like that are your options to how to play this game. And it's, and then there's miscellaneous ships that you can choose from. So I could be Boba Fett on a Millennium Falcon, you know, and stuff like that, you know. So uh, we played it once already. It's a lot of fun. I loved it so much. This is part for the course with me. I loved it so much that. I have a couple complaints with it, but every time I have a complaint with games now, Etsy always seems to be the answer. Uh, with the way that these figures, I mean, the uh, the character cards and the ships kind of come together, it's a little bit weak. They're cool looking, but as far as functionality is concerned, it's, it's leaves something to be desired. 
but I looked it up on Etsy and there's these perfect brackets that holds everything real nice and neat. Like I like, you know, I like playing a game to where I feel like a good windstorm could come along, just blow everything off the table. You can put it right back up on the table and know where you were kind of thing, you know? Yeah. And, uh, this, these Etsy cards do it. And then there's these little tokens for ships, but there's, I also bought these little Etsy stands that makes the tokens like fly. It's, it's so cool, you know? So I got those coming or actually I, they actually came yesterday. I haven't opened them yet, but, uh, you guys wouldn't care about that, but if you ever hang out and we want to play a game, this would be, uh, this is going to be, um, I, there's already an expansion for this too, that I, my family has told me they'll get me as well, but, uh, uh, it's a great game. Is it easy to, it'll to be one to stick out. Sorry. 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 It's easy, easy to figure out the rules and, and the gameplay. Yeah, I've already got it all figured out. We already played. Yeah, it's it's so easy. Yeah. And and my wife always accuses me of saying all games are easy when they aren't, but it it is. It's easy. There there's a bunch of stuff to do, but on your turn, there's only a minimal amount of options. So it's it's like I said, it's easy. And the last thing I got, which I don't I don't even need to show you, it's just uh Jesse bought me a wrap for my room upstairs, my living room that you saw in the live video I put it as well that says uh, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It's a wrap that kind of goes around the top. And I've got the, you know, you guys have seen my Star Wars framed pictures I've got and comic books that I've got hanging on the wall that'll it'll fit perfectly like right above those on my wall. So I'm excited about that. She got me that too. <laughs> she was good to me, yeah. yeah. So that was all my birthday stuff. And DCBS, so. <laughs> Is that where you got the, the expanse ship was DCBS? Yeah, exactly. Yep. That was that accidental click that you forgot to remove, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it, it was one of the added to my lists. Uh, you know how we talked about how we shop. We'll add everything and then kind of work your way down. And that one never got taken down, but I meant for it to, you know. But And so it took a long time to get here, too. I don't know why it took extra long as well, you know. I was expecting it, I think, in June. Or no, maybe actually May. Yeah. So anyway. All right, that'll do it for me, Mike. What do you got? All right. Well, funny story on how I ended up with this. So I got the Stranger Things season one and two um, soundtrack. Now this is a Walmart exclusive, and uh, so it comes on this really cool vinyl. So there's two two records, one for each season. And I found this on, at, at Walmart on a Thursday. Here's the back with the track list. On what day? On Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Okay. Right. Well, you know, Friday is payday. This thing was 36 bucks. So I was like, I can't, I'm not going to buy this today. Tomorrow's payday. So I hid it behind a bunch of other records because there's the only copy there. And yeah. they have the, the alphabetical dividers and they're black so i i stuck it between those too so it was like super stealthy hidden <laughs> that's hilarious yeah i mean this sells for 60 and up on ebay oh really wow i yeah i was gonna say i'd pay 30 something for it it's awesome yeah, so I, was, I was nervous about not getting it yeah <laughs> so yeah this good good Sorry, I got another little story that's funny to me. Hopefully, you all think it's funny, too. I actually almost bought an action figure. I can't even remember what it was. But I actually almost bought an action figure the other day because I was digging. I was <laughs> sorry, pardon my language. I was digging through action figures. And uh, as I'm looking through all the action figures, there was one random that there was only one of, and it was way in the back. So since I don't really keep up with the action figures, aside from what Pat tells me, on what value of the of them they are. I almost bought it just because I figured someone was hiding it back there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wish I could remember what one it was, but literally I actually took it out and I was carrying it around for a bit and then I just thought, you know, you're just being dumb right now, you know? And I, en I ended up putting it back, but I literally thought somebody was doing what you just said, Mike, and that's why I wanted to grab it. But anyway, but So I listened to the whole thing probably Three or four times while I was bagging and boarding old, you know, books yesterday. Um, and that reminds me, we were hiding things. I was at uh, a store, a nice little honey hole, but uh, 
I found inside, you know, the, the My Pretty Pony section was like this. Just really deep. Tons of them. My, no, My Little Pony. Is it My Little Pony? Yeah, My Little Pony, yeah. Yeah. And in there, I found a stack of Star Wars books. So I bought them. Those were Kevin's. He hid them there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So somebody definitely hid them there. It's a pretty good idea. I do that now. I'll hide into, you know, My Little Pony section. <laughs> or Archie. People don't buy Archie. There's a huge Archie section. You just hide them right in the middle of there. Reminds me once again of a Seinfeld episode where George hit a suit that was on sale, coming out on sale on Friday. He was fighting with people and he hit it. Did you guys remember that episode? No. Yeah. Hey, I've got another another uh, attachment to your Stranger Things. Um, so I love Stranger Things music so much that I sit through the credit, the 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 intro all, every time. You know how you can skip it, of course. Right. I said I want to sit through it every time, and Jesse's gotten to a point where we, can we just skip this? Thank you. Update on that as well. Uh, we got one episode. We we almost made it completely through last night, but it got to be like midnight or something. So Jesse's like, I gotta go to work. So, uh, oh wait, not yeah, no. She yeah, she don't she didn't have to go to work. She just was tired, so she couldn't stay awake. But so we didn't get the last episode watched last night. But that's where we are with the last episode. So anyway. She she commented on how she just wants to skip the intro, but and and the Stranger Thing intro is pretty boring. Obviously, it's just a bunch of letters. But man, yeah. the music is still so good for me. I listen to it every time. Yeah, yeah. I compare I it to Game of Thrones. Score. You know what were you saying? Sorry. Yeah, I want to get the score as well. This is the soundtrack because there's just great you know eighty songs, um, but I want to get the score as well because you're right, it's it's really good. Oh, that's not even the score. That's the soundtrack. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So those are all the songs with. With uh, little sound bites from the show between songs. It's really good. Man, I'm sorry. I, I just keep talking. I got another funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I like to play whenever, especially just when I'm hanging out with friends or family, especially if I've had a couple drinks. Any song that comes along, I like to play the, you don't know who sings this game. Obviously, Mike's familiar with it, But I mentioned this this weekend too, Patrick, during my live stream. We need to hang out and have a couple drinks because that could be a good time. But anyway, I like to play the, you don't know who sings this when I know you know, but I, I just want to play, right? Uh, except my wife doesn't know because she's not, she's, she's significantly younger than me. So I will literally ask her all the time, who sings this, who sings it, you know? And the, nine out of 10 times, the answer is always journey. That's always her first <laughs> guess, right? right? Unless it's Journey. <laughs> Literally, I swear to God, every time forever that I would ask if it's a Journey song, I'm like, you don't know who sings this? Who sings this? And she's like, if it's a Journey song, she's like, White Lion, Def Leppard. She just goes to my go-tos, right? So finally, this weekend, though, she guessed Journey, and I was beside myself, you know? Nice. We're in our, I have a small, I have a small bathroom in my master bedroom and we're in there together. So we're like pretty much, you know, you use some old terms to describe how close we were, but it's very small. So we're both in there. We're tight. And I was all like high fiving her and stuff. And, and the name of the song was my favorite journey song, which is separate ways, of course. And, and then when they played that on stranger things too, I was like, Oh, we were just talking about that this morning. <laughs> you know, you know, we, well, have you are you caught up on all the Stranger Things yet, Pat? No. All right. Spoiler alert: They highlight separate ways in the final second, the final episode. So sorry, I ruined that for you. But <laughs> but of course, I start singing it right. You remember that in the close? It was such a great closing for the second to the episode eight, mm -hmm. I think, of that season. It's such a great closing, Mike. So anyway. Yep. So I, I didn't realize that was a soundtrack. I was thinking it was a score, which that's why I got into a rant about a score. But that's even better for me, or as yeah. good with it being a soundtrack. I want it even more now. Yeah, the songs are awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's great. All right, sorry. I didn't mean to hijack you there. Or were you done with that one? Yeah, I'm done. That's what I got. Okay. <laughs> that was good stuff. All right, Pat, what you got? <laughs> uh, we mentioned the uh, the Legos for The Office. I yeah, It's been hard finding... Uh, the blind bag minifigures around here. I don't know about down there, whether you're even keeping an eye on that sort of thing. I don't. Um, 
but they we went to Walmart last night and they had three Muppet minifigures sitting there. And luckily I you know felt around and got who I wanted. And I was actually surprised one. with uh, three of them that he was still there because I figured people would snap him up. Yeah, I would definitely. I would grab him, even yeah, though I'm not interested in that kind of thing. He's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Valor picked one up too. He ended up getting Gonzo, um, which you know, I'm I, real quick. You know, I'm 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 pretty good. I can usually feel them out and figure out who's in there. Okay. Well, that's coming to an end because Lego switching to boxes instead of bags. So. Oh. <laughs> Are they putting codes the on them? Sometimes. Yeah, like, uh, it, it's been, up. I think, pretty much determined that the codes don't mean anything on Lego figures. Uh, uh, how much was this? I think it was four ninety seven. Okay, so they're five bucks each. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, I, it, over the past few years, Amazon, what is it, Amazon Prime Days have not really done it for me. I never found anything I needed or wanted. Yeah, I, this this year was different. You know, there was quite a few things I found and got some good deals on, including, you know, this we talked about accessories for your board games. Yeah, and this is you know a, an organizer an insert for King of Tokyo or King of uh, New York. You um, know this game? You play this game? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'm telling you, man. More and more reasons for us to get together all the time because. <laughs> Because I have been looking to, I've been trying to find someone to play King of Tokyo forever. Those are yeah, we all like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's three of them now. I think there's King of Tokyo, King of New York, and what's the latest one? Yeah, uh, it's coming out. It's called King of Monster Island. I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are great. Yeah. Uh, and this this is good because it you know it, you can there's there's been like a couple of expansions and they standalone figures and promo figures so. I'm trying to combine. I, I and I wasn't okay. So there was there's a company called Broken Token, and they did like sort of balsa wood inserts, but they're you know over twenty dollars, and you're getting to the cost of the game at that point. So I kind of put it off and put it off, and finally I saw this this company called Folded Space, and they're actually like foam core board, but they're ah. they're, they're sturdy, they're solid. Um, but I I didn't want to get two right away. I wanted to get one and see what the quality was like, and I'm I'm happy with it. I I was actually putting it together during the uh, the whatnot show on Friday, uh, test fitting it. I still gotta you still gotta glue it together, but um, everything is very well cut and sized. And uh, so I immediately ordered another one for my King of uh, New York box. Yeah, I love those. I uh, I I I tell people all the time that. I'll appreciate a game that much more if the if they've got a real tight form fitting you know storage you know part for the parts of the game. I hate when it's totally loose or or especially the ones that frustrated me that seem so such a mystery to me are the ones that the they'll have the compartments but they won't fit everything properly. It's like what were you thinking? Why did why is this way if I can't fit you know it's it's so goofy you know right. So yeah, I love that stuff. I haven't really uh, invested in too many of those either. Um, but I want them if, again. If I was, if I had unlimited income, every game I'd have would have these kind of inserts in them. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, speaking of gaming, I put I had put this game off and put this game off, but they had a deal for Prime Days that I couldn't resist. Yes. It was, it was the base, you know, the re base retail version of Marvel United, but it came with the Spider Verse expansion. And a Doctor Strange figure, and it was. I'm so excited that you got this. I think it was thirteen dollars and seven cents. Wait, what? Now I'm sad. <laughs> you got all this for thirteen bucks? Yes. <laughs> Dad gum. I had to I get it at that point, right? Bucks. Yeah, you did. Although you know, I I kind of kept one of the things I kept holding out for was a good deal on the Walmart base version because it came with a venom figure yeah uh -huh. but you know <laughs> this, yeah. yeah this was sort of like i was like i can't pass this up i gotta get it now and try it out so heck yeah i think the i i don't have that um spider-man one that one is 20 bucks alone yeah, yeah. i've got them i've got them all now except the spider-man one and uh the guardians of the galaxy one okay know? But yeah, I've got like so many boxes of that. And, and I'm excited about you having this now because I played this once with Mike, right, Mike? We played this once, yeah. right? Yep. 
so now when we get together, you'll know how to play this. So play it. Make sure you you and Val are. Yeah, that's not, I was yeah, going to say I actually have to play it so I can figure it out too. It's and it's simple. Shocking, I would say that, but anyway. yeah, I. I now I kind of regret not bringing this to your attention because you could have picked up the Spider Man for thirteen dollars. Yeah, for let and gotten the Doctor Strange. Well, actually, I think I have the Doctor Strange in that one kit that's just figures, you know. So yeah, you could have sold the other ones on. The yeah, store. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, even I could have sold the the base too. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, that's yeah. what I am. We'll call it even. You didn't get the Godzilla off me. I didn't get this deal. <laughs> That's cool, though. Is that it? That's it. And that was awesome. As soon as I was uploading the pictures and I saw that, I was wondering, what's going on here? <laughs> so did we get any comic books? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I got my DCBS order. But, you know, I figure that's what you guys see or have anyway. Yeah, so. yeah I got my regular pool, pool box. It. 